Hey guys, Sebjuf here. Today, I'm going to be doing a 50-man Lost Halls and Voids to teach the newer players on how to do Lost Halls. Because even in 2022, some people ask me how to get through Lost Halls and NBC and that stuff. So, I'll be giving as many tips as I can and I'm going to make it as hard as possible by allowing Stream to choose what I run with. I'm going to take off my pet here and um, we're going to do a 50-man run. So, it's going to be fucking like disgusting. <laughs> Make sure to come by the stream and use your Twitch Prime. <laughs> it's gonna be disgusting. I can't- I'm a rogue. Just give me the ring. <coughs> Just give me the ring. A T3 health ring is pretty swag. Leather armor. I already have a ring though. Seller time? Oh, he's giving me a fell. Quite generous. Oh my god! Cloak of the Night Thief! T3. Here we go. For every sub you should drop a piece of gear? Deal. For every sub I'll drop a piece of gear, promise. Except for my dagger. Because I kind of want to show where to shoot. Alright guys, here we go. 50 man void. Holy shit. 50 man NBC. Generally, you want to go on the path that has the most room. Um, and that's the right. Oh, okay, right is definitely it because there's a split path. Gear, then. I dropped my cloak. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brad, for resubbing. 34 months. Holy shit. But yeah, you generally want to go to the space that has more room. And guys, try to dodge the petrify shots because those are the ones that kill you. In golem rooms, the both the angry boys, the spiky boys, which are these light blue ones, and the big boy will insta-kill you if you stand on them. We're down to 46. I wonder how many people we're going to end with. I hope we have a lot of people in the void to make it hard. And if there's a split path, that means you're on the right path. Um, with oryx rooms, I think Mario can kill you, but just keep your distance. These guys uh, do a really good job of killing, by the way. See how when they get triggered, they start doing shotguns both ways? But yeah, if you want to not be a pain in the ass for your group, do not peek rooms, like, out of nowhere. Oh, there's a spooky boy. Oh, shit. Do we have a trickster? I'm running. No tricksters at all. Here's a crusade. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, no. Okay. Guys, with crusades, they're very simple. Um, you just want to make sure you lay out... You want to have in the back of your mind a memory of what directions you went. So when you are running from a crusade, you can do it subconsciously and just run backwards. There's 11 rooms between, or is it 11 rooms counting the starting room and the NBC, or is it 11 rooms between? And you always want to trend towards the middle as well. I'd say after you go through 5 rooms, you want to try go through the middle. NBD is really easy. I'm petless though, so I probably can't do the survivor strat. Try to, um, try to tank 1 arrow each time, because then you only take 150 damage, as opposed to 300. We're down to 33. Oh my god. This actually wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, I'm gonna be honest, so far. Guys, don't touch the tentacles, they will basically insta-kill you. And in every phase, you don't want to stand on NBC, obviously. <coughs> There's really only two hard phases for this boss now, guys. By the way, for grenades, they always have the same set pattern. Oh, thank you, Sonicy. cheers. Alright, there we go, armor off. Um, don't stand on mob- don't stand on pop rocks, by the way. Also, don't stand on the things rotating around that has all of the things coming out. See these shot generators? Standing on those would kill you very quickly. Not instantly, but very quickly. But yeah, don't stand on towers as well, obviously. Don't stand on towers as well. I can make a more advanced, guys, if you guys want in the future. And watch out, in this phase, if you're the f if you're the closest to him, but you're like, he's off screen like this. If you're like this distance, but you're the closest, he insta-kills you. Because the time that it takes for him to shoot out those yellow shots is always the same, but the time he jumps is different. Do you see how I'm dodging the pop rocks, by the way? Like, you can intentionally stand on one. Like, look, I intentionally stood on one just then, and then I stood in the safe spot. Okay, never mind. It hit me, but you get the point. It just nicked me. Um, this phase, don't stand against the wall. Standing against the wall in this, uh, in this phase gives you one less side that you can move to dodge, if you think about it. If you have a, if you have a tentacle on the left, and then shots approaching you from the right, and you're backed off against the wall, you literally have nowhere to move. And yeah, to, if you're better at the game, you can even help your group by intentionally standing on pop rocks. You don't need to decoy. See? See how they got triggered? And then I stood in the safe spot, because they have, pop rocks always have the same pattern. But yeah, this is meant for more of a newbie guide. A complete newbie guide, because there's a lot of people that still ask for advice, so yeah. Alright guys, there's a lot of phases here where he likes to jump on you after this, so keep that in mind. Guys, if you're new at the game, you always want to try to get HP, if you are allowed to. If it means to Discord run, Rex, yeah! But yeah, HP is king in this game, if you're a new player. We're down to 28 people, cool. Oh guys, look, this is a safe spot for this phase. Do you see how I'm alternating between here? You literally can't get hit if you alternate and fit through the gaps. Follow with the boss as long as you can. Just rotate as much as you can. Most of the phases you can easily fit through the shots. It's like, I haven't been hit yet, but there is still um, some really crappy phases. I'll let you know about them. Okay, nice. Clear minions. 
Oh my god, right side is AIDS, right side is AIDS, we need to help right side. Oh fuck. Guys, for big boys, they always shoot at your current location, so you can do slight turns. Guys, we need to help right side. Please help right side. Uh oh. Kill the medium boys before big boys, because they actually go, uh, they level up. Oh fuck. I drank HP pots. Oh no, we got so many big boys. Oh, okay, this is gross. This is gross. Guys! Hmm, this is interesting. The medium boys are unironically harder than the big boys. Oh fuck, I'm on one HP pot left. They're dying. Uh oh. This reminds me of the good old days when I used to do void challenge runs. Help, help. This is a very, no, I'm not taking pots. I don't need them, man, this is easy. We got 15 people in here, dude. Is there no one else that can come? Is there no one else that... We'll do another one, we'll do another one. I didn't think minions would be that much of a problem. <laughs> I didn't think minions would be that much of an issue, holy fuck. Okay, guys, go left, go left. Since there's more space, go left. Yeah, it's definitely up, guys. It's definitely up. Because there's a split. But yeah, come, come up, guys. And then we're gonna go right, because we need to make some space. Guys, if you hug walls, it slows down the crusade moving. So that's something you can do. Or you can pull them all the way around the room to help your group. You know what I mean? Cool. You guys are doing such a good job. Make sure you don't stand on shurikens because you never know how many are stacked. The only way you can know how many shurikens are stacked is if there's... Uh, depending on the shadow. This is the general safe spot for that phase. But yeah, decoying helps with this boss so much. Look how dumb it is. When you learn the, project the trajectory of bullets in this dungeon, or in any dungeon for that matter, it makes it a lot easier. Cool, cool, keep circling, cool, cool. Don't stand on towers ever, of course. Mm -hmm. Top left, bottom right, guys, top left, bottom right. You can shoot towers while there's no coins to shoot. We just wait for the coins while better players than me get them. Yeah, do you see what happens? Look how many shots there are now. Do you see what happens when you come here? This phase, you can also do the same thing as void arrows. Save spot here, then save spot left, then save spot here. I don't know if we'll be doing another one of these. <laughs> there's only so many. Oh, we got a white bag. Color sword. Shmeesh! Alright guys, I think after one full rotation, that's when we'll start clearing minions. If you have a bad group, clearing after one cycle is probably the best. And yeah, if you're in a bad group, it's best, as soon as you hit the river, to start clearing. When he goes mid, by the way guys, those are the best opportunities to um, DPS the boss. So yeah, most of the phases are really easy. Um, a lot of them used to be a lot harder because they got rid of Confuse and really gross things like that. This is also a really gross phase. As long as you don't get lined up, you're fine. Alright, it's going mid. It's going mid. The only mid phase that's really gross is Star Wars. Oh, this is a free phase. So you can just save spot. You don't even have to move if you get the save spot, right? Um, bottom left is going to be very disgusting, guys. We need we need to somehow transport people to bottom left. I want to cross, but okay, I'm crossing now. I'm in bottom left. No, I'm not! I'm going out of there. There's 10 billion big boys. Did you guys see how many big boys there were? Someone's decoying them, which is very helpful. Uh-oh. They're moving. Hmm. Interesting. Whoop. Is this a solo void? <laughs> Oh fuck, I thought it nexus. Oh, I wasn't even maxed. Wait, I didn't even get the MVC exalt. Guys, the last phase is very simple. I don't think I even have to show the last phase, to be honest.